Hi there. Meet Rahul and Amit who are fencing their gardens of area 60 square meters each. Now, despite the gardens areas being equal, their dimensions are not the same. Let's take a look. The length and breadth of Rahul's garden are 10 meters and 6 meters respectively. Amit's garden on the other hand is 15 meters long and 4 meters wide. Observe the dimensions carefully. As the garden's length increases from 10 to 15, its breadth decreases from 6 to 4. And that's how the area of both the gardens remains the same. In general, when an increase in one quantity results in a decrease in the other one, the relation between these quantities is known as an inverse relation, just like in the case of length and breadth when the area remains the same. Here, if x represents length and y represents breadth, then the product of x and y is the same, that is 60, because the area of both the gardens is equal. Thus, we can say that if two quantities x and y vary inversely, then x into y is constant for all its values and vice versa. Now, if there was a third rectangular garden of the same area but length 20 meters, what would its breadth be? We know that x into y remains constant, so 20 times y has to be equal to 60. Thus, y is equal to 3 meters, so the breadth of the third garden would be 3 meters. Now it's time for you to find some missing values. See you next time.